When I came to Kiruhura, I found uh, this project had uh, not yet started. I think it was due to COVID and other related issues. But uh, by the time they started this project and they uh, gave work to the engineering brigade, we were all excited because to our own observation and what we are seeing on the ground, they are doing a, a recommendable work. And we appreciate the efforts of the president who allowed the engineering brigade to come and take over the, some of these projects. And they are doing very well even to other districts. And where, wherever the engineering brigade is, they are giving recommendable results. So as Kiruhura, we are really delighted to have the engineering brigade work on our project. We have tested them. So there are some projects they have done. We have uh, some housing uh, staff houses. We have a medical store. They have done really a very good work. And uh, they are working according to schedule. Time. Time. I'm very sure now they are saying they, are, they will give us this project in uh, October from now. And you see the speed at which they are working. We are really very happy and delighted to have engineering brigade in Kiruhura. And we request to have them, to have the engineering brigade in other projects which we, we may have in the future. I'm the chief administrative officer, Chiruhura District Law Government. And uh, I'm the, representing the client. This project started some four or five years ago, but uh, when we got uh, COVID and, and FMD, it stopped. Later on, some two years ago, when COVID and FMD were done, we started another phase. But to our blessing, and I salute His Excellency the President for the vision that these projects, which are purely government funded, be implemented by the engineering brigade of UPDF. So that was an opportunity for us to start engaging the engineering brigade of UPDF, and they started the work. I'm so delighted with the performance of UPDF. The quality is so impressive. And even the cost is lower for the work being done. But above all, it has also reduced my stress as an accounting officer for poor, because we used to hear people complaining, poor workmanship, uh, shadow work. Everywhere people are ringing you, people are choosing you here and there. But now with UPDF, I can't sleep. As long as I give, the, the game, the, give them the resources which government has given me to do their work, then I can invest and I, I'm sure they will do the work and they have done it. Uh, I'm Major Francis Cassius Mawanda from Indians Brigade. Basically attached now to MDS in Chiruhura district plus Kazo district. <laughs> so here in Chiruhura district we are basically doing um, medical, that is Minister of Health works, plus uh, Minister of Education works. And we have been added by the local government the administration blocks and we have done some few renovation of the administration blocks for Chiruhura district. Uh, basically what we started here with, we started with a medical store which we build here at the headquarters, this, uh, the headquarters for Chiruhura district. We build the medical stores. We have built uh, a staff house in Chiruhura Health Center 4, which is just next to the district headquarters. We have renovated the district headquarters offices. 
uh, four number blocks plus the council hall. We have uh, also come to this complex where we are. It is the Chiruhula District Headquarter Office Complex, which we're working on. My name is uh, Engineer Mwebesa Joseph, the District Engineer of Chiruhula District. And uh, yeah, my supervisor, direct supervisor of this project. The project is uh, an administration block, uh, phase one of the administration block so yeah and uh, mm, what else do you need to are you content this with the, because as an engineer uh, what is what is done here okay is it in line with Indian works okay. you wanted as a district mm. are, are, you, are you going to be ask, asking questions i repeat or i just say uh, okay okay yeah um surely 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 the i'm so contented with the structural bit the structural integrity of uh, what is what engineer brigade is doing uh, especially on quality we have tested everything that we are using here from steel from uh, the cement the batches we are going to so everything is tested and surely it passes without any doubt and uh, for that i have no doubt that the structure is okay and sound and uh, the the quality the quality i must commend uh, engineer brigade for the quality they have surely surely maintained the quality the standard of uh, of, the, of the works so they are not in any way cutting corners and uh, as per the design that's what they maintain and uphold and i must commend them for that this is going to be the administration block for chiruwara this crew government where it's an office block it's a big complex if you see you saw the the design but we are starting phasing at least getting one wing we will complete it and then people can come in and they work and this has been done and is being done by the support of with the support of the government but also but also being implemented by the lovely forces of UPDF and the army brigade we are very grateful to the president to the leadership of the army to the leadership of the uh, engineers brigade to the leadership of the team which is here, my Jama and the team who are here, they have done us good. When I see what is going on here, my heart, I'm very happy to see what is going on and it is being done during our time when we are leaders here. So just pray that the work continues like this and my team of engineers are also supervising this project because we are always here it is near the district i always come also because this has been the heart uh, one of the projects i when i came here seven years ago i thought we would have an office an office block like this as we build somewhere in, in Bushen, we build something similar to this but this is going to be better than even the one we put up in Bushen. and i'm very i'm very good, good from the government of uganda for the support and the funding and uh, they, they also the local population because somehow their taxes the little money we collect also ends up here uh, basically this project we started it when it is uh, at the lower level or what we call lower ground now we have already come to the first floor we, we have already casted the first floor we are as you see our column we are cast we are soon casting the columns to the second floor and uh, we expect this works to be done in the next uh, two months, two to three months. We shall have done up to the top where we are supposed to set the phase. We shall have finished the phase to loafing. Then we are expected also to do in, to go ahead with the second phase a reference to the cow and the local government people. They have already appreciated what so far what we have done, and they have already told us the next step that they are giving us the jobs which are ahead of us. The top leadership of UPDF surely I must say thank you uh, 
for giving us accepting first of all engineer brigada in some occasions actually we have not uh, 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 we have paid part 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 till we have come to this end and uh, but uh, the management uh, saw it uh, wise to accept part payment so which is okay but now as i say we have we are fully paid and good enough we are paid within the contract duration which is time so which is okay now what i really urge the management is to make sure that the the foot soldiers the guys on site surely they are not delayed in any way in terms of like receiving materials because uh, in one way or another we have honestly gotten delays as a result of uh, materials coming on time. So I think uh, that one and uh, it's like it is not part of this, uh, these guys here on site. If it is can be addressed uh, on top, please we request uh, that surely it should, it should not in any way affect the progress. Otherwise, we are so happy, we are really satisfied. The army leadership has really done wonders to support us. When the president gave a directive, we did not have equipment. The leadership quickly came in and then we wrote a document. Uh, it was approved by parliament under the guidance of uh, his Excellency the President and we acquired equipment worth 19 billion. But that equipment vis-a-vis -vis the works which are at stake now is not enough. We need enough equipment. We have already put in a requisition. The equipment we want is worth nine, uh, 60, 69 billion. Once we get that equipment and we have it in different regions, we can do any work. We can, whether road works, whether construction works, we can do any works. Uh, reference to these bigger projects which are UPDF has been given, really it is helping us as engineers. One, it is a good experience. As a, an engineer, we will wish to do a bigger projects. So I'm privileged to be part and parcel of this project or being part and part of the bigger projects we are having. It's a good experience. It enlights more to us what we are supposed to be doing. And also we learn a lot working with a uh, such bigger working within the areas which we are working in the district headquarters or with the civilian population it enlightens how it gives us a chance to know what they they want and how we should live with them really it is a good experience working with a civilian a man in uniform working with a, a civilian however it is a simic to us and really appreciate and as the engineers of India's Brigade, really this one has exposed us to know what we are capable of doing and also letting the people, the civilian population and the leaders to know how much we can be or how much we can offer to them. My recommendation, to, uh, of course, uh, I salute my, the Fountain of Honor for the wise decision to involve the engineering brigade in these projects. And on top of that, as a a, a brigade, they are also earning something, uh, self for uh, yes, for uh, defense. And uh, my appeal is maybe bureaucracy within the system to, uh, to help them have uh, their money released uh, as quick as possible, not to delay the work. But otherwise, we are very grateful. we have. Uh, an OPD stroke administration broke and then a, a maternity broke stroke theater. They are stolid. The maternity broke th stroke theater, we are on the first floor. The walling is done. They have also cast the beam, so we are preparing to start the roof. And then the other broke, we are now setting it out from the foundation. We are still in the foundation putting up the print walls, casting column bases, and then soon also beginning the walling after, after casting the slab. Uh, in Kabgo, in, in Shema, 
We also have an administration block for Shema municipality. It is uh, G plus two also, ground level, then plus two other levels. Uh, the other blocks, the, the, the other blocks at Kabuhe, it is G plus one. And also on course. Uh, where you are is uh, Shema municipality. It's in Shema district, part of the western uh, Uganda. So, you're welcome. Uh, here, Kabuhe Health Center for has been existing for many years. I think over the I don't know, but I think in the over maybe 1940s or 50s. So we've been having very old structures based, I think, on the population by that time. But of course, over years it has progressed from the simple dispensary up to where it is as a health center for. Initially also belonged to government, then later decentralization to Bushenyu Greater, then so far to Shema District when the new Shema was, uh, um, came into existence. Um, so we've been uh, moving on with, uh, we have many services like all most public facilities, outpatients, inpatients, specialized clinics, uh, maternity ward operations, uh, dental clinics, uh, HIV treatment centers, uh, the uh, non-communicable diseases clinics. So we do quite comprehensive uh, services like most other uh, public facilities, the services they offer. I'm Nakali Salukia, the Deputy Mayor Shema Municipality. I'm here to give a background or at least explain something about the, this project. Uh, as an entity, Shema Municipality, we appreciate, we appreciate the government to give us uh, the money to construct this health center. And uh, most importantly, we appreciate the idea of giving it to the UPDF to, to manage it. At first we were worried uh, about working with, this, uh, with the soldiers because uh, originally it was not common for the soldiers to work with the, the civilians. But uh, we are glad and we, are, we appreciate their participation. In fact, they are very good people to work with. Uh, first of all, they accepted to work with the other civilians, much as they are the ones responsible, but they have brought on board our local people and they are working with them. Uh, the quality is okay. Uh, by the way, how we control the quality also, we make sure that uh, uh, blocks, the concrete blocks are made on site and once we make them on site then proper touring is achieved. Uh, the mixed design, because it is us now that design the mixed design that will give us the, the class of uh, the strength of the blocks that we need. So normally the specifications are 5.5 .5 newton, newtons uh, per millimeter squared but uh, we have been able to achieve up to nine. Uh, some of the blocks, when you test them, you find they are nine newtons per millimeter squared, and that is a plus. So you find that when you have such a blocks, then obviously you have managed the quality. Again, we don't uh, we don't have to to worry about uh, the quality of materials because we look for first class quality materials, and our construction teams are well managed. We have supervisors there at the local government and then at our level, plus the Ministry of Health at Kabgohe, where they have a clerk of works. And then for the administration block, for the administration block, we have uh, the municipal engineer, uh, the one in charge of supervising that project, and then uh, the monitoring and evaluation team of the municipal council. And so these works are also going on very well. When the blessing came because of the government support that we have gotten, 
uh, you see the changes that have happened. I think over the past one year we got a project, government projects, uh, uh, about uh, constructions that are going on as you can see. The contractor here is the UPDF Engineering Brigade uh, that is doing this great work that you can see. Uh, here you see two blocks as you can see. There is one block that is already up then there is one that is still uh, I think coming up still in the ground but I think also great work going on there. Uh, the, the block that you can see is a comprehensive block. It's quite big. It's housing the uh, the administration uh, block where there are offices then it will also house quite a number of wards the uh, female wards in the patients it will house the male wards the children's ward then there are also uh, outpatient department there are clinics like the dental clinic the laboratories they will all be in, in there um, the other new block that is coming up is uh, to house comprehensive maternity ward. It has two, it has two operating theaters. Then it has also the um, maternity ward. Maternity ward has also very many other components within it: the family planning, the cancer screening rooms, the an daily antenatals, the immunization blocks. Uh, so that is the new other block that is coming up. Not only that, their behavior, their cooperation, the way they handle things is also promising. So we are glad the project was here and the UPDF which is managing it is also, is also doing a very good job in uh, giving us good results. Immediately after the launching, they told us that they want to start on the project. So it gave us some, um, uh, some confusion here and there to relocate the clinics which were, which were going to be demolished. But I thank, uh, I, thank, I thank them because they gave us courage. The way they pushed us gave us courage to relocate those uh, the departments and uh, they started on uh, the construction. So I think that is one of the challenges which we are worried about, but we fixed, the, we fixed it immediately and the, our patients, our people are now having all the services which they, were, which they were earlier getting even before the construction project started. I don't take it for granted that these blocks, are, these projects are here. So the people of Shema, the people of Uganda, I think they, are, they really benefit. And according to the plan that we have, these things are supposed to be completed within the two years time. So that's also a big advantage. The contractors say everything is set with them and uh, they have the resources available. And uh, I have to thank our government, our contractors, our member of parliament that lead into this, the government that uh, allows the projects to go on for the betterment of the people, because he with our president of Uganda. So we really thank the government for these uh, tremendous uh, projects that are in Shema. They work with the local people still in, the, in regard to supply of materials. We appreciate that also because the money they get, at least in purchasing the materials, they don't purchase from outside. At least our local people get, uh, they get the facilitation and they, all, they also supply. Uh, reference to these bigger projects which UPDF has been given, really it is helping us as engineers. One, it is a good experience. As a, an engineer, will wish to do a bigger project. So I'm privileged to be part and part of this project or being part and part of the bigger projects we are having. It's a good experience. It enlights more to us what we're supposed to be doing. And also we learn a lot working with a, such bigger, working within the areas which we are working in the district headquarters, 
or with the civilian population, it enlights how it gives us a chance to know what they they want and how we should live with them. Really, it is a good experience working with a civilian, a man in uniform working with a civilian. However, it is a simic to us, and really appreciate. And as the engineers of Indian's Brigade, really this one has exposed us to know what we are capable of doing and also letting the people, the civilian population and the leaders to know how much we can be or how much we can offer to them. Otherwise we appreciate so far as a, as a municipality uh, we, we, have, uh, we have hope that when this, these structures which they are constructing are completed sincerely our people will benefit because the health services will, will improve. We have a lot of people who come here from different uh, the neighboring districts so the capacity of the entity according to the structures we have I think it will accommodate those people. Otherwise we thank the the leadership for cooperating, the political leaders, our MP, I, I think uh, he has also done a great job in uh, mobilizing for these funds, our mayor and the council, we work together as a team sincerely to get this good, this, uh, good work and uh, to get good results at the end of it all something to say the contractors as you can see they are army men and for us we are civilians but I can say they are wonderful men at first we thought they were a bit difficult to live with but we found them they are very professional as uh, they say because we share they get sick they come we treat them we get something that we need from them we tell them whatever they have in abundance they are good to the community i think so far i haven't had any issues also from the community about any disturbances uh, basically i thank you pdf for giving us a chance as engineers in updf I thank His Excellency for the opportunity he has offered us as engineers in UPDF. And I thank my commander for also trust, entrusting us to do such bigger projects, mega ones. I really thank all, each and every one.